this time there will be no horse or dog. Time for something totally different. Dolls, clothes and one of the sets, a snowmobile. This will be a bit of a hybrid episode because I don't have the Barbie ski fan doll, only her clothes and accessories. Therefore I will partially rely on materials found on the internet. So let's start with the dolls. There were three dolls available in the ski fan series. Barbie, Mitch and Ken. Barbie and Mitch had skis. Ken had a snowboard. As you can see, Barbie's outfit was pink, combined with the same fabrics that we know from the horse's outfit. Mitch's clothes and accessories were blue and silver with colorful bright accents. Ken's clothes are bright green with purple. This is what the back of the box for each doll looked like. The only difference was the inscription at the top. This is the back of Mitch's box. Here is what the dolls looked like in Dan Barbie catalog, the Barbie journal. Also found some newer photos signed by Mattel. by many collectors not as a doll but as an accessory for Barbie. So let's talk about him at first. Ken has orange goggles and a snowboard. The lenses in the goggles are blue. Ken has an orange headband, gold gloves, purple shoes and a ski pass on a black string. His clothes consist of trousers, t-shirt and a jacket or sweatshirt. Mitch, whose color is blue, has blue skis, poles and boots. The goggles are pink with silver foil and the ski pass string is also pink. She is wearing blue pants with silver and yellow inserts on the sides and a sweet shirt with colorful irregular stripes, the bottom of which is finished with blue fur. Additionally, a blue vest with colorful inserts on the front, finished with a fur collar and tied with silver strings. She also has a full trimmed headband on her head. Mitch has earrings and a ring in silver color and a standard diamond shape. Her gloves are silver. The shoes are interesting. They are not typical ski boots like Barbies and Ken's. They look more like sneakers and even reveal her ankles. The set also included blue high heeled shoes, which like Barbie also has additional cardboard accessories. I don't know if Ken also had such a set of gadgets. I haven't seen it anywhere. One way to distinguish Barbie dolls from each other is their eyes painting. Just like in horses, Barbie Skiffan has has a blue-green painting with four eyelashes at the top against the green shadow. The twinkle is double at the top right in the shape of a dot and at the bottom left in the shape of a line or an elongated drop. The lips are pink with visible teeth. Barbie Skifan also has a set of gold jewelry, earrings and a ring, standard diamond shaped. Barbie's equipment includes skis with bows, high heels and a hairbrush all in bright pink. The box also contained a cardboard with additional paper accessories. Let's take a look at Barbie's outfit. It consisted of a jumpsuit, a jacket, ski boots, gloves, leg warmers and a headband. Additionally, skis with poles, glasses with gold foil and a change of shoes missing in this photo. You could buy additional clothes and accessories from the series for the dolls. 
which were called Barbie Skiffan Fashions. There were six different sets available, including one dedicated to Ken. This is what the photos on the back of each package looked like. Let's take a closer look at these sets. One of them consisted of three-piece clothes, a t-shirt, trousers and a jacket, and included white skis with poles and boots. The skis in this set are pink, they look similar to those belonging to Barbie, but the shoes and poles were red or orange, it's hard for me to tell the color. The next set included the same skis, poles and boots, this time in white, pants, a sweatshirt and a vest. The next fashion pack included ice skating clothes, a jumpsuit, a white elastic belt, a ballerina style skirt, a scarf, a backpack, a full move and, of course, ice skates. Ken's fashion pack consisted of long yellow skis without stickers, yellow poles with slightly different tips than the previous ones, pants, a hat, shoes and a pink sweater with a thick collar. Next set for the doll, this time we have pink narrow long skis with white poles and shallow white boots like Mitch's, jumpsuit and a jacket. The last fashion pack, also for a doll, consisted of a plate for sliding on snow. The set includes a long sweater, leggings, a scarf and pink boots. That's it for dolls. And these are photos of the snowmobile box I found on the web. Honestly, it wasn't easy. It's not a very popular accessory for Barbie. Finally, a scene from Barbie Journal with a snowmobile and dolls wearing clothes from fashion packs. As I mentioned, I don't have the original Skifan doll, so I will use the model, my favorite doll, California Girl Surfer Summer from 2004, with an articulated body. So don't focus on the model, only the clothes and the accessories. When I recorded this material, I didn't have the original pink jumpsuit. Summer is wearing a jumpsuit from one of the fashion packs, the one with the ice skater's clothes. It is made of white cotton fabric with blue, pink and green blots. It has long sleeves and because it is cotton, it is difficult to pull the jacket over it. So I won't take it off.
On the neck we see the original ski pass. Today there are other solutions on the slopes, but in the 90s there were cardboard ski passes on the slopes. There was a certain number of runs on this card and the person controlling the ski lift cut holes in specific places on the ski pass marking how many runs had been used. Glasses or rather goggles are preserved in their original condition. The headband is a bit faded and there is not much glitter left on it. There is a gold foil on the glasses, which is often in a rudimentary condition when it comes to toy models. Here it is intact. It only sticks out slightly on one side, but after gluing it, it will still last a long time. The jacket is in great condition, made of several different fabrics, including this one with glitter. There is a noticeable warming inside, so it's not a fake, it's a real winter jacket. The gloves are made in the same way and are also in perfect condition. Unfortunately, the color and trimmings lost their color during washing. They should be gold, but they are silver now. It is the same fabric from which Blizia's bow is made of. The trim should also be gold like horses. Next we have leg warmers made of the same fabric with glitter. They are also a bit faded and there is not much glitter visible on them. Ski boots. Summer has plastic legs, a bit different than the Barbie dolls of that time, and the boots fall apart on her a bit. But once attached to the skis, they stay in place. also had a brush, typical of the 90s, in the color of her accessories. And of course she had skis with bows. The boots clip into the ski bindings very easily and they won't unfasten anymore. Summer can hold poles through her gloves. And this is what Summer looks like in ski fan clothes from the 90s. While editing this video, I found and got the original jumpsuit. In photos and video it looks quite nice, but this is the advantage of these bright colors which are difficult to capture through the lens. Because if you saw it live with your own eyes, it would be quite faded. Fortunately, the trim is made of some other fabric. It's not shiny gold, but remains in a color resembling gold. The upper 
part is already quite faded so I'm not even mentioning the glitter. But the outfit is intact. The fabric from which the suit is made is quite slippery which makes it easy to put the jacket on and take it off. Now you can clearly see that the upper part is washed out. The suit is fastened with a velcro on the back. Now that I've taken the jacket off, this is what it looks like. This is what the cotton jumpsuit looks like. It also fastens on the back but not with a velcro but with plastic snaps. I also received a vest from another fashion pack also from this series. At first I thought it was a piece of clothing dedicated to Ken. I don't know, it somehow looked masculine for me. I have skis and paws from yet another fashion pack. Unfortunately, the bindings on these skis are for different boots, because they are different types of skis. I don't know anything about skis. I've only worn them on my feet a few times in my life, so I won't comment on them. But I know that there are different types of skis. These are narrower and longer than the ones Summer is currently standing on. The poles are the same as those from Barbie's equipment, only they are white. The glove, as I said, is made just like the jacket, with insulation inside. My collection also includes this snowboard. It is identical to the one that Ken Skifan had, but this one, judging by the stickers, belongs to a younger Barbie. Winter Sports from 1994. Again, the bindings are quite different here, so you need to have the right shoes. The board is the same in length as Barbie Ski Fun Skis. With these ski fan items, I also received these pants. Even when recording this material, I had no idea where they came from and it was a curiosity from me. They are really solidly made, fastened with a velcro and have a velvet lining inside, just like real winter pants. The outside is made of nylon with a fabric inserts with numbers. Legs have elastic pants. They he didn't have any tags, but I was inclined to believe that maybe they were part of some winter fashion pack or something. While doing research for this episode, I found one single photo showing a Barbie clone from Germany who had these pants in some winter set. But again, I don't know if it was a set of accessories for Barbie type dolls or maybe it was actually a doll. The name Pretty Money appears on the box. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything else. I don't 
collect such things, but by absolute coincidence this original snowmobile from the Skifan series appeared in my collection. Here it has wheels, so it moves easily on any surface. There is an opening storage compartment under the seat. It's not very big, but gloves will fit. The steering wheel is movable, but does not affect any part of the chassis. The holes on the sides are a place to hide the doll's legs. In the time of ski fun, dolls had stiff, straight legs, so you had to somehow manage them. The snowmobile is quite large, but Barbie cannot transport skis on it. Let's try to sit somewhere on it the way we would sit the original ski fan Barbie. And this is what summer looks like on a snowmobile in original ski fan clothes. This is how summer looks on a snowmobile in a real snow with Pinky. This episode took me a bit longer. I wanted to collect as many valuable materials as possible to present the dolls and fashion packs. Additionally, during this time I caught COVID, which effectively disabled me for several days. This is my first official contact with this disease, but fortunately it's not a tragedy. Stay warm and healthy and stay tuned for the next episode of Barbie's Ski Fun Universe. I said it was a large series, didn't I?